peace. What are you doing here? I... I wanted to help you. Is there anything I can do? Yes, you can go away and leave me alone. This is private! Hello, gorgeous. How are you feeling today? Fine. Great, great. Hey, listen, uh, do you have any plans about two weeks from Saturday? No. Great. You want to go to a wedding? Whose? Ours. Whip, I already told you, we are not getting married. Uh, you're so cute when you're playing hard to get. Look, can you be serious for a second? I need you to do me a favor. Check in with Ridge and see what's going on with him. Ridge, I thought he's home recuperating. Well, I thought he was too, and then Rick called me, and he told me that Ridge warned him to watch his back. Well, what do you think that's all about? I'm not sure. But it certainly can't be good for Forrester. May I offer you gentlemen a pig in a blanket? Thank you, darling. I'm sure Massimo would like one, too. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Enjoy. Well, this is very cozy, isn't it? Obviously, the old saying is true. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, if that's true, then Brooke has made many, many friendships, but none stronger than the one that is being forged here today. You may be right about that, Massimo. Sally, you've never had more powerful allies. We're going to launch a torpedo right into the good ship wait, Forrester. Wait, wait a minute. I, I don't think I'm really comfortable talking about all this revenge. Listen, I'd like to make something very clear. I am not on some personal vendetta against Brooke. This is about protecting my father's legacy. As fond as I might be of Brooke personally, I've had to face the fact that she doesn't understand my father's vision, she doesn't respect it, and she has no business whatsoever running his company. She has no business breathing, as far as I'm concerned. But since I am not as cold-blooded as she is, I will uh, forego the pleasure of killing her like she did to Macy, and I will simply attack her bank account. You gentlemen care to join me in that? Fine. Welcome aboard. Actually, with you on board, Ridge, that would make our design team one of the best in the fashion world today. Uh, <clears throat> Sally, Ridge is offering you much, much more than his design abilities. I know what he's offering. And I know what he wants. He wants to take over my company. That's not going to be possible, Ridge. I said it before and I meant it. Spectra Fashions is not for sale. Ridge was going to work for Maroney. That's what Eric said. Well, then there's nothing for you to worry about, all right? He's not going to have time to mess with us. Well, then why would he tell Rick to watch his back? Maybe he was having a bad day, Brooke. Look, it can't be easy for the guy starting over at this stage of the game. Think about what he's lost. I think he's entitled to make a crank phone call. That's not what he was doing. You don't know Ridge the way I do. He doesn't make empty threats, and he doesn't give up that easily. All right, then what exactly do you think he was trying to do? I wish I knew. 
You know what? If I were Ridge and I wanted to show the entire world that I was right and you were wrong, I'd start my own company. I'd duke it out with you on the runway. Oh, my God. Maybe that's what he's planning. Well, great. That's going to take him a couple of years just to get started. Come on, think about it. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, no offense, but I think your hormones are getting the best of you here. Brooke, there is nothing for you to worry about. Sally, don't do this. What? All I'm saying is that if he's going to join the Spectra team, he signs a contract and answers to me, just like everyone else. I'm not looking for a job, Sally. And if I was, you couldn't afford me. Oh, really, then? This is all about money, huh? I told you what it was about. Yes, I know. You told me it is about protecting the famous Forrester legacy and preserving it, right? Well, what about preserving poor little Spectra's legacy? Do you think about that? I mean, what happens to Spectra when you take over the company? Do you honestly think that I'd be willing to stand by and let you erase everything I've built with one swipe of a pen? Sally, Sally, Sally. You're looking at all of this wrong. No one, no one is interested in erasing all your hard work. Look, you could have given up on this company a thousand times, but you didn't. Hmm? Why? Because you knew that someday, someday, you would make the Forester sit up and take notice. And Sally, my God, look what's happening. Ridge Forester is standing right here in your office, offering you millions for a company that you started out of nothing. That is not failure. Sally, that is a triumph. With your company, his experience, my financial backing, his talent, his talent. And, of course, your outstanding clerical abilities. Yes. Sally, by God, nothing could stop us. Us, Massimo? There is no us here. What, you think I don't know that the minute I sign on the dotted line, you will tie me up and toss me out of here so fast, it'll make my head spin because I do not fit the famous Forrester image? Sally, are you kidding? They'd be crazy to let you go. They're going to give you a seat on the board, a senior management position. It's in the contract. I may be a Forrester, Sally. But even I am not arrogant enough to think I can pull this off without you. I want to build on your success. I'm going to need all of your cooperation, yours especially. You've lived your life in this building, Sally, just like I lived mine at Forrester. I know what I'm asking you to do here, but I give you my personal guarantee. You're not going to regret it. All right. If you put it that way, I might consider it on one condition. But I'm afraid that one condition will be something you will find it almost impossible to meet. I really appreciate you telling everyone about the service. It meant a lot to me having them there. Well, after what you said about Amber and how she feels guilty about this miscarriage, uh, I just thought she'd want to know she has our support. <sighs> you know, I think she feels like she let us all down. Oh, God. It, it's as if she thinks we're all judging her. I... Even Stephanie? <sighs> they were so close. It's changed. That's so sad. Amber really needs someone to talk to right now. <sighs> you 
You shouldn't come here. I'm just tell myself. I know. I just wanted to help. How? Whatever you needed. I just... I had a feeling that I should be here. It was stupid. I'm sorry. I want to tell you something. And you might get mad or think that I'm crazy. But I don't care because it's something that you should hear. I had a dream about your babies. And they're with your cousin Becky. And in the dream, she was taking care of them. And she said that, that it was because you were taking care of her son. That's all, I just, I thought you might want to know. We have, Remember, they were gorgeous. They were blonde and blue-eyed. And they were laughing. <laughs> they were happy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. over there. Well, you want to give me a ride home? Yeah. I'd be happy to. Is Eric down for his nap? Yeah. Um, look, I hate to ask you this, but could you stick around while I go pick up Amber? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. My, my painkillers just wore off. I, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. Okay. All right, honey. Let's get you upstairs. Come on. Hi. I'm Bridget, Amber's sister-in-law. Yeah, I, I know. It's really nice of you to bring her home. No, I was I was happy to. Okay, well, um, I, I hope she feels better. I, I better get going. Okay, thanks again. <gasps> Amber's house. I was just in Amber's house. <sighs> this was meant to happen. I am supposed to be here. I'm gonna find a way to be a part of your life, Amber. I know you need me. What's your condition, Sally? You can have the company. You can buy me out. But the name stays the same. This company will always be called Spectra Fashions. See? So much for all of those fine words about respect and building on success, huh? I meant all of it, Sally. But I have to have people know that I'm in charge. Or the thing's no good. That's why I have to change the name. No. Then the whole deal's off. Sally, Sally, oh. Clark. No, wait, wait, wait. Sally, <clears throat> why is this so important to you? Because two years ago, I told Brooke Logan 
that if she hurt my daughter, I would make her pay for it. Now, that day of reckoning has been a long time coming. But now it's finally here. And when the final blow is dealt, I want my name on the weapon. We can do that. Massimo. No, 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 Rich, no. Look, it will work to our advantage. They'll never see it coming. Possibly. Brooke will know exactly who is responsible for her downfall. And once the damage is done, we'll call for a joint press conference and we will announce the change in ownership. Is that satisfactory to you both? Wait, wait a minute. I'm supposed to keep this from my wife, from Kristen? You bet, Tony. She works for the competition. I hope you haven't been sharing Spectre's secrets up until now. Well, this is different, Clark. And we're trying to take out her father's company. It's my father, too, Tony. And I'm doing this to save the company from Brooke and her kids. Now, Kristen will be grateful eventually. Assuming that you're successful. Oh, I'm going to be successful, all right. I've got too much riding on this. We all do. And that's what separates us from the brat pack at Forrester. This is just a hobby to them. A new little game they're learning. I'm trying to fight to protect the heritage and the reputation of Forrester. All of you, your professional careers are at stake. And Sally. Oh, no, 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 no. Sally only wants one thing. She wants to be able to go to bed at night Close her eyes and not imagine the last horrible moments of Macy's life. What should I do, darling? So, you have fought so hard and so long for this company. I mean, you've done this all on your own. Maybe it's time to let someone help you. I think that's what makes what do. If she was here, <sighs> Macy would help you. Making it sound like Macy sent these guys here. Maybe she did. Where do we stand, Sally? We stand together. I think it is time that we settled with all of our enemies and brought them down. So, here's my hand on it. Let's do it. Let's bring them down. <laughs> 